Hi, I'm Jeremy Breck with DJ Jar Events and Lighting in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And one of my things that I'm going to be showing you today is, uh, well you notice a lot of the, the new totems, you have the white spandex, and then you put a moving head on top. Well, it looks good with white spandex, you light it up on inside, and then you have this black moving head on the top. And one of the things we're getting away from is making those things stick out. So we are actually going to show you how to take the casings off of, we're going to use a Q-Spot a Q 260, we're going to take the casings, all the plastics off, and we're actually going to prime them and paint them and show you the best way to make that look. So this piece is going to be white when we're all done with it. And uh, I'll kind of give you a step-by-step -step on the best way to make that work. So we'll go uh, first, we're going to start with step number one, basically taking the pieces off of the Q-Spot and the important pieces that will be seen on top of the totem. So we'll, uh, we'll get you going through step number one. So step number one, basically we're going to be taking the piece apart. And you can see here, this is actually the Q-Spot 260 with all the pieces taken off. Now what you're going to need, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. You might need two different sizes. Uh, one that's going to get some of the bigger screws, and they also have some smaller screws as well. Uh, some of the ones underneath might take a little bit smaller of a Phillips head. So keep those things in mind and don't strip your screws because then you'll really come into a problem um, when you're trying to take them out uh, and maybe even putting them back in. Um, but remember also some of these screws are going to be exposed. They will be seen. They're not all inside of the casing itself. So perfect example on the arm here, you can see this screw right here. When you're painting, you also want to keep those in mind to paint so that way you don't have this nice white casing and these black screw dots. So make sure you get those painted as well. So again, what you're going to do is you're going to take your Phillips screwdriver and just take off piece by piece. Um, you can use an electric screwdriver as well. Um, just be careful because you have a good chance of stripping the screw and you don't want to do that because if that screw gets stuck in there, um, then you're really going to have problems getting the rest of that screw out or it might be tough to actually get the screw back in. So um, definitely something to keep in mind. So we're going to take off this arm first. And with the Q-Spot 260, um, there's a couple things that you might notice is on the inside here, the steel, um, that's going to be really tough to paint. And to tell you the truth, most of that's going to be hidden by the moving head itself when it's pivoting and things like that. You're not really going to have too many issues with that. Um, so I wouldn't worry about painting the inside metal part, but you also notice that this metal plate right here, I don't even know why they put that plate there. But this metal plate, this will come out, and you're going to want to take that off so the whole thing is white from front side and on back side. So now we got all four screws out on this arm, basically pop the arm off. Now one thing that I do is I actually get painter's tape, and I will actually tape over this Chave uh, circle, the emblem here. Um, yes, it is black, it might stick out a little bit, but it, it's just it's good for the, uh, the, the, the paint. Um, it's hard for it to stick onto this clear um, acrylic plastic. This plastic, it sticks on really nice. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, I'll just get painter's tape and then I'll either use like a scalpel knife or I'll just use a knife like this. And when I'm done, it will actually cover the emblem like so. Um, then when you're painting it, you don't have to worry about the paint actually getting on that emblem. That tape will ta or just come right off. Um, so the other things, uh, again, basically we're just going to take all the screws off the head. And again, make sure you have the right screwdriver. You don't want to you don't want to strip the screws by any means, because um, it really does cause problems. There was uh, one of my moving heads. I was actually trying to take off this fan cover, and uh, I stripped one of the screws. So basically, yeah, I was screwed. Um, I couldn't take it off, and I had to leave them black. So I'm to make them all uniform. I'm actually keeping them all black. Um, this is actually my fourth moving head that we're going to be painting white. Um, just so they all blend in. So we can actually put two on that back side of the dance floor and then also two on the front side of the dance floor. Um, so I can get a nice uh, nice coverage of the dance floor. So once you get that piece off, it'll come off, uh, uh, you'll just pull it right off there. And again, you start seeing some of the exposed parts. Um, again, here's another one of those glossy plastic pieces that we'll just use a nice painter's tape on that. And make sure you get a rag and just kind of clean it off really good. 
um, because if there's any oils or anything like that, that tape doesn't stick very well. And then same thing with the casing itself. Make sure you wipe it down really good so there's no dust, there's no oils, um, anything like that. And then the paint will actually um, stick to it really nicely. And again, you're going to want to start with a primer. The primer is going to be that first coat. Make sure you get primer white, which is basically the, the main primers that are out there anyways. Um, and then I recommend getting a flat black paint. And I will show you the ones that we use. Um, you can get this at any hardware store. Basically, it's Rust-Oleum plastic primer. Um, it, it's a great cover. It, it's a nice coat. And then we'll also get the, uh, the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover. Uh, it, it does a really good job of creating a nice cover of the white. And another thing, make sure it's flat. Um, if you start getting glossy, then it starts making this distracting. Uh, the flat, basically, you, you'll notice all of the pieces are in a flat black. So that's why we use a flat white, just because it does make it look a little bit nicer. So once you get all the pieces off, again, the moving head is going to look like this when it's all done. On the bottom, on these bottom plates here, there's screws on the bottom you're going to have to take out, so make sure you get those out. Um, and those bottoms, once they come off, they'll just slide right off and they're really easy, uh, really easy to paint. Um, we're going to take you to the painting area. Same thing with this lens as well. Uh, make sure you get these screws out, don't strip them, and then you have a nice, uh, a nice white lens cover as well. Uh, we're going to take you to the painting room now and we're going to show you a little bit about uh, some of the preparations that you'll want to do in the painting room. Okay, we're actually going to zoom in really close. I want to show you the easiest way to lay this in here um, and to get a nice cover around this, uh, this shiny plastic part with the emblem on it. Uh, we're going to grab our painter's tape. Here we go. We're going to grab our painter's tape and uh, basically you want to overlap. You want to make sure that the tape is actually bigger than the emblem itself. Uh, make sure you have this all wiped down, otherwise again that tape's not going to stick very well. Put the tape on and then just use your fingernail and just kind of create a crevice or a crease where that tape lays on to that emblem. That will kind of give you an outline. Then, when you take your knife, again a scalpel knife actually works really good because it's got some nice flexibility, but then what you're going to want to do is just use that knife and just follow where that crease is at. It does take a steady hand. If you don't have a steady hand, have someone who does. So then basically, you'll just take off the pieces like that. And then once you do have that done, just use your fingernail again and just rub it down one more time around the side. So that way you can make sure that it does get it does get all the places that you need. So again, taking your knife, finishing out the other side. And it's better to leave extra than not enough. Because if you have extra, then you can just kind of do some fine trimming after that. If you take too much, then you kind of get yourself in a spot where you have to put another piece of tape on to make sure you got all that covered. So. Like right here, I got a little bit extra, I can just use my fingernail and kind of tuck it in towards the logo or towards the emblem. So um, again, what you want to do is grab another piece and actually cover up this strip right here. Just have it overlap, it's not that big of a deal. So we're going to grab another piece here and hang over our edges a little bit, press it down with your fingernail. And the reason a lot of the a lot of the, the companies make these these lights in black is because they've always made them in black. Um, you know, you, you look at some of the higher end, some of the Martin stuff. They do make them in white, and that's just because there's a demand for it in that higher end stuff. Um, the black is also you know considered to be professional. That's why that's why uh, photography cameras, you know, most of them are going to be in black because uh, black is seen to be as more professional. Um, I really like the white because, like I said, you're not really going to do a lot of events with black ceilings. Um, you're not going to do a lot of events with black walls. You know, the, a lot of the facilities, they're going to have beautiful wallpaper, they're going to have white linens. Well, you want to make sure that you fit in as well and uh, make sure that your lighting doesn't stand out. 
Um, you don't want to steal the show, you just want to be a part of the show and you want to fit in. So we're going to finish up a little emblem here. Um, the other thing is, you know, they made them black because of theatrical. You know, most of the, the Source 4s that you see, they're all black. Well, they make white ones too, and that's for, um, you know, we use a lot of the white Source 4s as well. That's just because they blend in more with the ceiling, um, and they don't stand out like a sore thumb. So, basically, that's where, uh, that's where those, um, where the black, uh, when they're hanging up nice and high up into the, in the curtains and things like that, um, it blends in with the, um, with the theater ceiling. Um, which is true, but uh, in our cases, we're probably not having um, too much to do with theater ceilings and things like that. So again, we want to match the atmosphere and uh, because we know it's not going to blend in um, unless, well, really there is no way it can blend in. So uh, what we're doing is we're making it blend in ourselves. So we're going to go take this over to the painting area and we're going to show you how to add that first coat of primer um, and then go and do some of the other steps and uh, also go over dry times and things like that with you.